Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Iris. Good evening. And connected in the class is Milagro Janice there. Milagro is connected. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, it is. How are you? How is it going today, Wednesday, the middle of the week? It's in the middle, the middle of the week. How is it going? Greeting, greeting. Saludo, el saludo. How is it going? That's informal. It's like, how are you? It's a normal, how are you? In the speaking English. How is it going? Como va? Como le va? Como va? Uh, good teacher, but I am tired, but uh, much, much work is correct. Ah, uh, because, because of the, of the work. You can say because, it, because, because of the work. the work for el trabajo. Because of yeah. the work. Oh, okay, I see. But it's only one hour, one hour of class, right? It's not two hours yeah. class, two hours yeah. or three hours. No, it's only one, okay? We are going to yeah. learn a little bit more about English. And what do you do? Uh, sorry that I ask you. Siento uh, preguntarle. But if you don't mind to give your response, you can answer. Si no le importa responder, you can. Okay, and what is what is your job? What do you do? Do you work uh, with machines? With... Okay, uh, uh, to to work, one is voluntary for ONG. The international is on work is online, and uh, to work is painting. Um. All right. And I I I don't know explanation that that to work, but is general. Okay, general. okay, pretty interesting. Okay, when you have when you are saying a list of things, you have one or two things to say. Cuando tenga una o dos cosas que decir, you can say ah one one of my jobs. Uh, milagro is it, it is a noise milagro be careful with your microphone milagro hello okay milagro can you can you hear me el micrófono milagro está haciendo un ruido bien feo bien fuerte hay que desactivarlo por favor Ok, lo voy a desactivar yo. Ok, uh, cuando haya ruido, please, guys, uh, deactivate the microphone. Hay que desactivarlo cuando haya mucho ruido para que no este, interrumpa. Ok, ah, ok, you can say one of my job is uh, to work in an ONG, right? This is one option. Parece algo larga, okay, pero es opcional. Okay. O puede decir, ah, I work, I work in an ONG, and, y le agrega la palabra and, y, okay. and I work in, uh, uh, you paint it, right? You paint, yes. you said. Painting. In a painting business. Um, painting yes. business. Okay, business. Okay, that is pretty pretty interesting to work with an ONG online. Okay, that's great. Good. Okay, guys, uh, good evening. Welcome. Uh, Wendy del Carmen, welcome. Carlos Arias, good evening. Ivani Gomez and Brandon. Brandon is always online. How is it going, guys, today? How is it going today, Wednesday? 
¿Cómo les va ahora miércoles? Today, Wednesday. Y, do you have microphones working properly? ¿Tienen micrófonos que funcionen bien? It's good, it's good teacher. Okay, Today, yours. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Okay, no problem. But it's only a one hour class and it's already eight o'clock in five minutes, past the five minutes. Okay. And the others, do you have microphones, guys? Stefania, Brandon, Wendy, and Milagro. Okay, and Milagro's uh, microphone was not working well, but no problem. You can use the chat. There is the option. If you don't have a good microphone or working, you can use the chat. Okay, I can check the chat too. All right, let's begin with today's class. Ah, Reina is just connected. Is just connected. Se acaba de conectar, Reina. Okay. Okay. Uh, welcome, Reina. Uh, guys, don't forget, if you have a camera, you can use it too. Puedo usar la camera. That's one indication. All right. Let's begin today's class. Uh, do you see uh, the screen? What I share with you? Do you see the screen? Confirm if you can. Yes, teacher. All right, perfect, perfect. Today we are going to check a new material, new material for your English learning. All right, let's begin right away in the four areas that we always practice. The number one is speaking, number two, Listening. Number three. Grammar. The grammar part. Grammar. And at the end, practice. we have the practice. practice. Okay, practice. the practice. Okay, that is what you can do uh, when the class is done or tomorrow when you have free time, of course. And the links. The links that you can use. Print intermediate model three. Okay. <laughs> The title or the topic for today is modal verbs. Modal verbs, more modal verbs. Okay, more modal verbs. We have two more. We have wood, wood and, and wheel. wheel. Okay, like Will Smith, the actor's name, the first one, his name. All right. And do you remember the modal verbs that we have been studying in previous classes? Do you remember the modal verbs? Make, make memory. I have memoria. Try to remember the modal verbs that we have been using in the past, in the previous classes. The first ones that we used, do you remember? Yes, maybe not. Do you remember, guys, the modal verbs that we studied in the past? No. <laughs> that means that you have not practiced uh, enough. Okay, do you hear me, guys? Do you hear me? Yes? No? Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. But today I... we have... Mm -hmm. You can, you can speak. You are free to speak in this class. You are free to participate. All right. And um, we're going to study wood and wheel. In the previous classes, we have been studying which ones? Can, yes or no? Yes, can. Can, uh huh. What else? Uh, two. Uh, no. Can and could. Oh, yeah. Good uh, yeah. for requests, for requests, and the other two. Yesterday's, yesterday's class. Which one was? ¿Cuál era? Yesterday, last night, last night class. <laughs> you forgot. Come so, on. So two. So and two. No. They are not modal verbs. 
Oh, yeah. uh, May, for example, May, like the month. Ah, uh, okay. May, uh -huh. May and, mm. and what else? I, I don't remember in the moment. Oh, okay, <laughs> May and might. Okay, May and might. Those were the two other moral verbs that we studied. Okay, let's begin. Wood, wood, can you pronounce it? Wood. 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 Oh, wood. there is a thunder wood. at the background. There is a thunder. I hear wood. a thunder. It's almost raining over here. Oh, it's almost raining. Casi está lloviendo. Okay. I hope that the class is not interrupted. Okay. We use... We use. We use wood. We use for a, a request. For request. Okay. What is a request? What is a request? A request is um, a phrase or a sentence that you say when you want to do or receive something. But we are going to check how we use. Oh, okay. You have problems, Ivania, with the microphone. Uh, you can. Do you hear me, uh, guys? The rest of you, can you hear me clearly? Me oye bien? Yes. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe it's Ivania's microphone or the speakers, Ivania. Maybe Pero that is no correct. Yes, lados. that is the thing. But. Uh, when it is raining, try to use... Hello, earphone. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Byron. Welcome. Um, when it's raining, it's uh, a good idea to use earphones because you have them in your ear. A buena idea mejor usar earphones. I am using earphones. I am using earphones. That is better when it is raining. Okay, welcome, guys. Rescar teacher, uh, solicitud, no? Ah, yeah. yeah, I request, correct, solicitud. Or solicitar, it can be a verb. Puede ser un verbo, too. Okay, no problem. Ah, okay, Ivane. Okay, but the thing is the rain. Okay, the thing is the rain. But anyways, we got to continue with, uh, with the class, but you can increase the volume. Try to increase the volume so you can hear. And listen. Okay. Would we use you would as or for a request? For a request. How do we use would? The subjects, guys, can you pronounce them? I, I, you, I, you, he, she, it, it you, we, 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 and we. we. Okay. The subjects, and we have them, and next to the subject is. Like wood. A sandwich. Okay, wood. like, like a, sandwich. a sandwich. But this is not a request. Yeah. This is a normal sentence. Okay, I like a sandwich. What is the meaning? What is the meaning when you say I like a sandwich? Or I like that sandwich. Mm -hmm. Meaning, I like. What is I like? When I say, cuando digo I like, that is? Me gusta. Okay, that is the yeah. correct response. But when I use a word, cuando uso a word. I, you. I would like. I, me, well, I would. Me gustaría. I me gustaría. A sandwich. I would like a sandwich. That is the meaning, gustaría. Okay. Well, I would like, correct, I would like. Como digo, pensaría que está bien. In English? Uh -huh. Pensaría? I think. I, I, I think, think is yo pienso. I think. I think. I think. Pero I pensaría. Think. Pensaría. I, I, I would. Think. I would. I would. You use would the word would. Se usa eh, the word would. Para describir algo hipotético. Something that is probably. 
That is probable. It's probable. I would think that is correct. Pensaría que está bien. Okay. But how to use a would as a request? ¿Cómo usamos would as a request? But let's check. Let's check. See? In the subjects, no is, the verb is with no rules. No tiene reglas el, el verb. No rules. Because a would is like, is the, the modal verb. That is modifying the, the verb. Está modificando el verbo. No es, no rules, any rules, ninguna regla. All right? Teacher, if yes. for he, she, it, uh, is igual? The same, correct? No is, no letter uh -huh. is in the verb, uh, okay. no rules. Because okay. would is like a modal verb, a special verb. Do you, do you remember uh, the modal verb should? Yeah. Uh -huh, for requests or suggestions. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, okay. When you get sick, what should you do? Cuando se enferma, ¿qué debería ser? What should you do if you get sick? I... I... I, I would... I should... Like should a or you should... Okay, you or should... Like a sandwich. Uh -huh. But you, we should, remember, remember, you, we should, you... Should you should, should, should take medicine? For example, he should take he should medicine. Take medicine. Yes, should in that class was the same. And no rules in the verb. They said uh, with with should. No hay reglas in, in should. This is the same. Okay, no rules in the verb that you use, correct? Clear? Yes. Any rule, no rules, no hay rules, no hay reglas ahí, because would is the modal verb. Okay, and would has uh, contractions. What are the contractions of would? You can say, can you pronounce it? I'd. I'd. You'd. I should, 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 Okay, select this one and complete the sentence. Kid, kid, like, kid, like a sandwich. A sandwich. Okay, mm -hmm. you are using the contraction. But it means that you are using the a moral verb wall, wall, would. Wall, okay. the wall. He would. He would is the normal way for the contraction is he'd he, like. He, he'd like. Okay. This is uh, to practice. This is para practicar. I'd, you'd, he'd. Should, 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 but don't forget, you can use the contractions in order to, uh, how to, how to use them, para como usarlas. Okay, and the negative, what is the negative of would? I would not. I would not. You would not. He would not. She will not. not. It was not. It was not. We will not. They will not. They will not. Okay, they would. No letter O. Don't uh, pronounce the letter O. Only for imagine yeah. like, like the letter U. Would. 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 Okay, they would not. This is uh, the normal form, but you can use the contraction. And the contraction is? One. 
Uh, what is pronunciation, Water. teacher? Okay, the contraction is a wouldn't. 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 In all subjects, you can use wouldn't in all subjects. Okay, try try with one. Trate con uno. Uh, with uh, with she. She and ne uh, okay. negative. Yes, she negative. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. She, wo she wouldn't like a sandwich. Okay. She wouldn't like a sandwich. She no, wouldn't. Le gustaría un sandwich. She wouldn't. She wouldn't like a sandwich. All right. And this is the contraction for all subjects, para todos los subjects. Okay, uh, we have the affirmative, the contractions in the negative part of would. Is that clear? Yes, clear? Yes, teacher, I clear. Yes, okay, I am, I am clear. I am clear. Okay, good. Next, modal verbs. Okay, we are going to read how to use a would as a request. For example, it is very common that you use would in restaurants. When you order food, when you are going to order uh, any, any type of food, and we are going to check. Wood has several uses. Wood tiene varios usos, but the one that we are going to study is about request. Okay, let's open the link that I have. Okay, if you check, I am using one of my tools. This dictionary that is very useful. Okay, let's find the correct use of wood. Can you pronounce it? Wood. 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 Okay, that wood. is the pronunciation. Okay, this is one use, but that is not the one that we are going to use. Okay, uh, this one either, tampoco este, we are not going to use neither that one and the correct one that we are going to use is going to be about request wood as a request okay here we have it here we have it okay wood can you read it come on come on where is it ah come on this propaganda okay wood Model the request. request. Okay, model the request. Also, it says also the contraction is the. Do you remember the contraction? See? Yeah. Yes. Those I are the I yes, I with the subject. I did, but with the subject. Okay, we have the contractions uh, or the contraction in this part. Used. Yes. Used yes. in polite yes. request yes. and offered. Okay. Used. Uh, okay. I'm really sorry that I clicked on the wrong, the wrong word. Okay. Used in polite requests and offers. How do you can? How can you do a polite request or offer? Example. Uh, the example is, okay, just uh, come on, come on, where is it? Okay, that one. Can you read it? Would you mind sharing a room? Would you mind sharing a room? Would you mind, would you mind sharing a room? What is the meaning of this? Would you mind sharing a room? What is that? Offer or request? Request. Offer. Offer or request? Offer. Okay. Offer. Okay, it's a request. Okay, because you are saying that you want to use a room with a person. 
But in a polite way, you use would. De una forma cortés se usa would. ¿Te importaría? Uh -huh. Sharing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Le importaría compartir qué? El dormitorio. A room. Okay. In a hotel, por ejemplo. Or, uh, it is talking about a room. Would you mind sharing a room? That is the example. Next example is... Would you like me to come with you? Okay. Would you like me to come with you? Okay. Practice the sentence. What is the meaning of this? Significado de, of this. Uh -huh. Ideas, ideas. You can share the ideas you have. Ah, le o te gustaría que, que te acompañe o vaya contigo, it means. Te gustaría que te acompañe o vaya contigo. Come, okay, that come with you. Correct, that is the meaning. O también que fuera contigo. To come, yeah, that depends on the context. Depende del contexto de la conversation, but yes, you are right. Okay, sí, a polite request. Una solicitud o una, o una of, oferta. Polite, what is polite? Do you remember the word? Polite? Cortés. Cortés, yes. Cortés. Adjective. Correct, polite. Okay, next. Okay, would you like some cake? Okay, would you like some cake? In a restaurant, for example, in a restaurant, if I am the waiter and you are the customer, I can ask you, uh, okay, sir, or okay, lady, uh, would you like uh, some tea? Would you like some tea? ¿Le gustaría algo de té? In a, in, a, in a restaurant, for example. Okay, in restaurants, it's common to use wood because you gotta be very polite. Hay que ser muy cortés in a restaurant, for example. More examples. You have more. Let's read a couple of them. This one. Would you like to borrow this book? Okay. Would you like to borrow this book? That is another option. Or... That is sentence, sentence example. Okay, this one. Uh, it's, it's that option. Sorry, sorry. I'm uh, uh, really sorry that I clicked on the wrong word. Okay, many words are activated when you click on them. Muchas están activas. Okay, there it is. More examples. Uh, this one. Is that enough Okay, in this case, you say, is that enough potato? Es suficiente papa? Or would you like some more? O quiere un poco más. Le gustaría. Remember, that is very polite. Okay, it's very polite. Okay, good. And we have another use uh, about would. Always as a modal verb, it means willingness. What is willingness? Willingness is that you are, you want to do something. Cuando quiere hacer algo por alguien. Okay. Willing, willingness. Let's check the meaning. Willingness is? Voluntad. Okay. In willing, when you say willing is? Willing. Tener ganas de hacer algo. In other words, that you want to help. Quiere ayudar. In other words, let's to read. Um, in this part, you can use wood in this way. Se puede usar wood de esa manera. Okay, as a, as a way to be Polite too. Used? 
Okay, but in that case, you can use uh, you can use wood as similar as a request, but it says a willingness, como de hacer algo de voluntad. Okay, you have one example in this part. The car wouldn't. The car wouldn't start this morning. Okay, wouldn't start this morning. No quiere. Ajá, no quiere. Arrancar. No Correct. quiere arrancar esta mañana. Okay, good. The car doesn't work. No funciona. The car wouldn't start. Parece que no quiere arrancar. In other words. Okay, and we have more examples that you can read below. Okay, you can read more examples about wood. But remember, uh, mainly use wood, I can say wood, as a request. Wood equal for a request or offers okay mm -hmm. uh, can you offer me can you offer me something to eat in this moment how can you make the sentence como se puede hacer la sentence offer me uh, something to eat imagine i am in a restaurant i am the customer and you are the waiter or the waitress offer me something from the menu i could um, okay but when you say i would that I is a would. that is affirmative affirmative sentence the negative is i wouldn't i wouldn't okay that is the negative in the question, the question is I, what the opposite would do I would or would I with the subject I. yes, but to make requests you can use you. you will. Okay. Would would you, would you, you. Huh? And what is next? Like. Like. You can use the verb like. Le gustaría. Would you like? Uh -huh. What What type of food? What type of food? Um, eat, eat the tacos. Ah, okay. Would you like to eat tacos? Okay, good. This is, a, this is an offer. Okay, está ofreciendo algo. Would you using the, the modal verb would usando el verbo modal would right uh, offer me something to drink in the restaurant something to drink uh, would hmm? would you uh, what do you like drink drink tea any any drink you can ask would you like to drink uh -huh. would you like any drink uh, okay. uh -huh. read it read it please read it would you like would you drink? like any drink uh yes i don't like a soda okay i can answer yes i i can answer using the contraction i'd okay uh -huh. next what is next like i like, like. what what did i what did dream. i request uh, like and uh, but my dream uh, uh, okay. a soda, you soda. Say soda una soda okay a can a can of soda a can what is can Puedo. 
No, that is that is that is can. Ah, in the sentences. That is no. can. But in this yeah. sentence, what am I talking about? De qué hablo? What am I talking about? The soda. Ah, okay. So a can of soda is. What is a can of soda? A can. A can of soda. All right. Uh -huh, that is a can. No, can. Can is different. I can play chess. It's lata. Ah, correct. Can is lata. A can of soda. Correct. But it's not can. Can is the moral verb. Okay, see how the pronunciation can make the difference. Repeat, repeat the pronunciation. The can. Different? Can. Can, can of soda. And the moral verb as a moral verb would be can. Oh. Uh -huh, that is I the difference. I understand the difference. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's why I tell you, por eso le digo, pronunciation makes a big difference when you speak English. Yes. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a big difference. All right. Okay. Let's continue with the next one. The next one, the next one. Okay. You can continue checking the information that is uh, about water. We have a lot of things we can read, but the, the main thing is wood as, como? Request. As a request, as a request, request. as a request, or offer, or para ofrecer, All right? Let's see, what else? What is next? The next one is? Will. Will. We use? Will. 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 For, uh, we use will for offers and other uses. and other uses. Okay. This is a mistake. No a. Ah. ¿Por qué no a? Ah? Because it's not, it's not singular. It should be for offers. In and and other. other uses. Okay. And okay, sorry. What's going on with the computer? All right. Next, we have the subjects, the same subjects, but we have the modal verb. I will take a salad. Okay. I will take a salad, for example. If um, if I am in the restaurant, uh, let's see, Cecilia Araniva, uh, imagine you are in uh, Burger King or any other restaurant. Okay, good evening or good, good evening, good morning. Um, what would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? Uh -huh. I will take um uh, uh -huh. I will take some pasta. Some pasta, okay. I will take. I will take some pasta. That is correct. Okay, uh Carlos, Carlos Arias, what would you like to drink? I would like yeah. Uh, okay, I would like tea. That is that is fine. Está bien. I would like tea. Milagro Janis, what would you like uh, for lunch? What would you like for lunch tomorrow? Milagro? Uh, the microphone, the microphone is not activated. Um I will like um, chicken. Uh, I will like. Okay. I will, I will like. like. No, I will. I will like. You can use steak. I will take. 
I will take. I, or I would like. Take, okay. Like. Sería con would. I would ¿Sí? take. Would. Oh, like yes. sería con would. Yes. All right. And will. Say. And will. will. Ah, okay. Will sería con. Okay. The verb. What is the verb? Take. The verb, take. Correct. Take. Okay. And, and what is. I will take. I would. You can say I would like. What and, would you like? Because the question was, la pregunta fue, what would you like for dinner tomorrow? I will. I would, correct. I would. Like. I would like chicken. chicken. Me gustaría pollo. Okay, that is correct. Me gustaría pollo. If I ask you, a Byron, uh, what will you have for lunch tomorrow? I will take a vegetable soup. Ah, okay. I will take. Voy a. Voy a comer. I will comer take. Yes, I will eat. Soup. Se puede usar eat. I will eat vegetable uh, eat. soup. Se puede también. It is possible. But you can say take when you are in a restaurant. Cuando está en un restaurant, for example. Uh, what would you like uh, for your main dish? Karen, what would you like for your main dish? I will say. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. Uh, Subway. So, 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 soup. Soup. Ah, soup. Repeat. Soup. Ah, I will take soup. Okay, I will eat. Comeré sopa. But take means it has similar meaning. Tiene un significado similar. Because we are talking about food. All right. Contractions, the contractions is or are, in this case, contractions are, I'll, repeat it, please. I'll, 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 you'll, I'll, you'll, 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 chill, you'll, eat, eat, you'll, 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 then, then, okay. Well, those are the contractions those are the contractions and the negative I will not I will not he will not he will not he will not she will not you will not we will not they will not we will not they will not okay and the compliment uh, take a salad. Okay. No van a pedir o no comerán salad. a salad. salad. They, don't, salad. they don't like it, for example. They will salad. not take. No van a comer salad. Okay. And the contraction in the negative is? Won't. 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 Okay. Uh, imagine. What will you have for breakfast tomorrow? What will you have for breakfast tomorrow? Mm -hmm. and let's, uh, let's try to answer. What will you have for breakfast tomorrow? Okay, I for breakfast, will, I will. will. Uh -huh. In I affirmative, will, you can will, use in affirmative. I will take. I will take. Uh -huh. I will take a cereal. As, okay, I will take cereal. I will take coffee. I will 
say. Excellent. Mm -hmm. will take. Um, and say at all. At all. At all. The same. At all. There is no English okay, sure. word for at all. At all. Sure. Yes. Pero se puede también este, uh, decir I will eat. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's the take. O sea, de las dos formas. Both ways, but in restaurants you say take. In restaurants. Say it's a take. No. Or you can say, okay, in restaurants. Um, I will take uh, the salad. Voy a pedir la ensalada. Because you are in a restaurant. Or some people say, or algunas personas dicen, I will have, I will have uh, the salad. Or you can say, I will eat. I comeré. I will eat uh, the salad. You have three options. You have the option we take. That is correct. Huh? When, when you huh? are in a restaurant ordering. Cuando está ordenando. Or you have the other option that is. Oh. Have. Have. Oh. Okay. In. How. Eat. eat. You have three options. Yes. Sorry. Yes. 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 Podría decir, I will take chicken. Uh, okay, I will take, but you have three options for chicken. Chicken in soup, ch chicken with orange, and fried chicken. Which one? ¿Cuál? Uh, Porque si dice, I will take uh, uh, chicken, voy a pedir pollo. Pero there are, there are three options. Okay. Uh -huh. Option three. Ah, uh, okay. You will have a chicken, a fried chicken, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Perfect. That is perfect. When you have options in a menu, you can refer to the way that the food is. Se puede referir a la forma en la que está la comida. Uh, I will, I will take the chicken soup. Mm -hmm. huh? The chicken soup. 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 Or mm -hmm. I will take the pollo chicken frito. Fried. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried. Kentucky fried chicken, right? Fried. Fried chicken. Uh -huh. Okay, correct. This is the way. You can be very specific when you order in a restaurant. All right? Okay. Remember, you have three options. Take, Thank have, you. and eat. All right. No problem. All right. Okay, let's continue. And this is the negative part. The negative part of will. And the contraction is... Se está abriendo la página web. Want. Okay, want. 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 Correct. Okay, remember to practice uh, will and the contractions in the negative part. They are useful. Son útiles. Okay. Will. Will. We use will. Okay, let's correct. For offers. For and offers and other uses. And other uses. Okay. We can use will in many, many ways. Podemos usar will con muchas formas. But remember that mainly you can use it for offers and other uses, but let's check. Let's check a little bit. Revisemos that. Okay. Look at that. I am using this dictionary. Okay. This is the contraction. It says the future, but we are not talking about the future. No estamos hablando del future. Uh, able and willing, neither. Tampoco either, that one. Tampoco ese. Ah, this one, yes. See? Si? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where, where, where? Let me find it. No. 
Okay, this is the one. Will. Model verb. Model verb request. Request. Used. Used. Used to ask to something. Okay, example. Will you give me her address? Will you give me her address? Okay. Will you give me a hey, will you give me her address? What's the meaning of this? What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Uh -huh. Close. Me daría. Me daría. Me daría la contrase. La uh, address. Address. Dirección. Address. Dirección. 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 Correct. Okay, me daría, pero what teacher, you said that what is, uh, depending on the verb, dependiendo del verbo sería uh, like, gustaría, think, pensaría, etc. Pero en why will, ¿por qué will sería, me daría su dirección? O la dirección de ella, me la daría, because we are using will as... As a request. Re re request. Repeat it. Request. 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 Yes. Request. request. That's why. Right. Por eso sería, request. me daría. Me daría la dirección de ella. Okay. It, it yes. works as a request. Funciona como request. Okay. Next example. Will you give that? Will you give that? Will you see him, please? Okay. Will you give that to Tony when you see him, please? Uh huh. What is the meaning? Will you give that to Tony Ledarias? ¿Le darías esto a Tony cuando lo veas? Please. Pero no dice, will you give that to Tony? No se refiere al future. It is referring to the request. The request. Well. Okay, the request. As a request for offer. Como una solicitud. All right. Let's see. Uh, and we have the contraction that is here. All right. And we have more examples in, in this part. We have more examples. And you can click on it. Uh -huh. And you have more examples that you can read. See? This uh, dictionary offers many examples. So you can uh, read and study the structure of wheel. Okay? And we can use a wheel in many ways, but this is not important. Okay, what is important that you remember is the usage, el uso de the will as a request. Okay, let's see if we have uh, something else in the class. Okay, modal verbs, it says to mm -hmm. To review. To review. And develop. And develop. Okay, to review and develop. This is going to be as a homework that you will have. Es como una tarea que tendrá. Let's check it quickly because only five minutes. Okay, you copy the link that is here. Copy a link, así. Copy and paste. All right, or you can hit the link pressing the key control. Apretando la tecla, la tecla control, le da click and will take you to the website. Y lo va a llevar al website. It is the same. Okay, will. Will and word. Will and word. Will and word. Okay. This is uh, the reading that you can do. Es como una lectura que puede hacer. We use will. Usamos will para? 
Expresar. Who express the beliefs believe about the present or future. future. Or future. Ah, okay, now you can. Yes, you can read about how to use will uh, to express beliefs about the present and future. You can use will, pose a will. To talk. to talk about, about, about what people to talk about what people want to do, do or are willing to do willing to do request okay for example if i ask you will you will you copy the class to the to the website will you copy the class to the website Podría copiar la clase en el sitio web, for example. That's one example of this. Okay. That, is, that you are willing to do. Como una solicitud de algo que, que quiera que los demás hagan. Okay. Or number three. To make, to make promises. promises. To make promises. To make offers and requests. requests. Offers and requests. Okay, promises. Repeat. Promises. 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 Okay. And the, there are the three uses of will. Ahí están los tres usos de will. Okay, but the one that we study more, el que más hemos repasado es about offers and requests. Oh. But you can use will as the present future and as uh, when people are willing to do. That is just number two. Okay, and would. Would is the past tense of form of will. Because it is a past tense. Aquí dice que es pasado, would. It is used uh, to talk about the past, to talk about hypotheses, hypotheses, when we imagine something, cuando imaginamos algo. Uh, for example, in, when I say, I, I would think that you are right. What is the meaning of that? Uh -huh. The meaning? What's the meaning of this sentence? I would. Uh -huh. I would think that you are right. I would think. It is to talk about hypotheses when we imagine something, when we imagine something. Uh, pensaría, I would, I would think that you are right. Pensaría que está en lo correcto usted. Uh -huh. Pensaría, okay. You are imagining something, imagining. Está imaginando eso, ¿verdad? Que esta persona tiene razón, in other words. Or for politeness, o para ser cortés, etc. And you have, uh, for example, for beliefs, this is the number one for beliefs. You have examples. The explanation and examples. Yes. Uh, for willingness, okay? Para, por de voluntad para hacer algo. You have the explanation and you have examples. Okay, to talk about typical behavior, para hablar de comportamiento, también se puede usar. And you have a bad word. Okay, there is uh, information that you can check. Okay, you can check this in promises, offers, and requests. And requests. Uh, okay, puede, puede, puede leer todo, pero eh, esta parte es la que hemos estado practicando hoy. This one, promises. Okay. And below that, you, you have exercises that you can develop, okay? Por eso dice acá, uh, to review, para repasar y desarrollar these exercises. You can do it at home when you have free time in your house. Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much for joining to the class. Uh, see you tomorrow, and we are going to stop the class in this moment because it's already and nine o'clock almost okay see you see you tomorrow i will upload the the presentation and uh, for you to have it uh, available para que la tengan disponible 
Okay. okay. See you. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye bye. Take care too. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. See you. See you.